Welcome to the Sarah Fit Show, the latest healthy living info. I'm Sarah, and today I'm answering a question from YouTube. Anna the Palindrome asked me to show what's in my gym bag. Now, typically I don't have a gym bag because I usually wake up in the morning and I work out or I work out after work and I just come home. But when I did have a gym bag and I would go straight to the gym from work when I was working in the diet.com offices full time, I did have a gym bag. So I replicated what I used to bring. So here is my old gym bag, which I still use now to, uh, you know, bring my laptop everywhere with me. So to start the basics, we've got some shorts. These are some A6. I'm sorry. These are Sockney shorts. Those are some of my favorites. And I also have one of my favorite Lucy sports bra tops to show you guys. It's really cute and it has a cross in the back. I'm going to do a fashion fitness apparel video pretty soon, so I'll show you guys all my favorite clothes then. But, you know, I've got some shorts, sports bra, and obviously a tank top, any tank top or short sleeves. If it's the winter, I'll bring pants, but summer. Socks, of course. Um, when I'm going to the gym, most of the time I'm doing strength training, so I would bring my trainers. These are my Nike Freeze. The difference was with the bottoms, they kind of bend like that. Uh, they don't have a lot of support, so you really have to force yourself to balance and utilize all of the muscles in your legs. Um, so these are awesome, Nike Freeze. I got mine at the Outlet for only 40 bucks. So if you have an Outlet near you, go check them out. I also have my Gym Boss, which I've shown in a few of my videos. If you guys are interested in buying your own, there's a link down in the more info, and you can get more info from that. Um, this is really helpful to burn the most amount of calories in the time that you have. So those are really good. Um, next are the fun items. So usually I would bring a little mini brush to put my hair back in a ponytail. I hate bumps. And an extra hair elastic around the edge as well, always, in case you don't wear your hair in a ponytail when you go to work or school, whatever you're at. Um, I also would bring my iPod, of course. So I've got my armband, which I don't really use as much at the gym because you can just put it on uh, the cardio machine if you're doing cardio, but usually I have it around my arm if I'm doing strength training. Headphones, obviously. Um, and my iPod, my iPod Touch. I, I don't know if I would be able to live without it, honestly. Um, I put in a Crystal Light Pure Fitness packet just because I like them, and if it's a hot day out, as it's been this past summer here in New England, it's been extremely hot, you need some extra electrolytes, and this is sweetened with Truvia rather than another artificial sweetener, so it only has about five calories, and uh, yeah, I like it. So I put that in my water bottle, and I do bring a water bottle. I have a tin one. Um, I meant to show you guys, but it's over there on the counter. Sometimes I'd be a little hungry, so I'd bring a snack. Um, today in my bag, I decided to show you a banana because it's a really good pre-workout snack. gives you some added energy and also some classic almond butter from Justin's Nut Butter. And I'm not being paid to show you guys any of these. I just genuinely included them on my own. I bought them all. Uh, a headband to hold my wispies back. And if you already washed your hair and you don't want to wash it again and you work out, a headband will keep from sweat dripping all over. It's pretty good. Uh, after I work out, I like to wash my face. I just have one of my favorite gentle um, face washes. This is empty. I need to refill it. Um, but this is Purity by Philosophy. I got it at Sephora. This little guy was $10, which might sound like, oh no, this little guy was even cheaper. This one was free in a package I got. But I bought the bigger one, which was $10, because I liked this one so much. It's called um, One Step Facial Cleanser. And it's honestly, it's a really good cleanser. It's kind of similar to a uh, um, Cetaphil cleanser, but this is better. So I would definitely recommend buying it. Uh, if I forget to bring cleanser on my own, I'll use whatever the gym has. And that tends to dry out my skin. So I bring some moisturizer, um, just like little travel convenient moisturizers. I also bring a moisturizer for my legs because... Sometimes when I put on my gym clothes, I realize that my legs are really dry. So I get really bothered by that. I don't know why. I just always forget to use moisturizer. And so when I put on the shorts, it reminds me that I need to moisturize. So I always have that with me. Um, so there you have it. That's what's in my gym bag. What did I miss in my gym bag that you guys have in yours? And thank you for 
for the question, Anna. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Diet Sarah. And if you guys have a question, feel free to either ask below this video or submit it to my YouTube channel, Sarah's Fab Channel. I now have uh, the what is it called? Moderator feature uh, now is live on my channel where you can write down what you think my next video should be and everybody else can vote on it and whoever has the most votes, I'll try and make that video happen within the next few weeks. So thanks for watching, subscribe as always, and I'll see you soon.